Your morning news now. We are talking about China. They are closing off a large city in an effort to stop the spread of a deadly new virus. The National Health Commission has now confirmed a total of 17 deaths from the virus, all of them in and around the closed city in central China. Officials say that trying to contain a city of 11 million people is new to science. Three Americans died overnight while battling wildfires in Australia. All three were aboard an aerial water tanker when it crashed in southeastern Australia. The crash and deaths were confirmed early this morning as Australia continues to fight a massive fire season. Plan for a slippery morning commute. Light snow continues to fall. Many areas picked up about an inch or two overnight. You can see on CityCam that uh, snow covers many roads, sidewalks, and parking lots in the area. Snow continues near and especially east of La Crosse, but we will see some dry time today. Uh, just a chance for some periodic light snow showers or kind of a wintry mix. Day two of the Senate's impeachment trial against President Trump starts this afternoon. House impeachment managers spent hours yesterday laying out the details of their investigation. Today, that same group will resume their opening arguments with the president's defense team getting ready to take their turn later this week. We have not forgotten those who have shared the harvest and bounty, feeding our families, our communities, and our state. Country, Governor Tony Evers is calling a special session on Wisconsin's farm crisis next week. Also in his state of the state last night, the governor called for a nonpartisan commission to draw what he said would be fair, impartial maps. A River Falls man is set to challenge Representative Ron Kind in the November election. Republican John Garski announced his candidacy at events in Alaska and Eau Claire. He says supporting President Trump is high on his agenda if elected. Garski joins at least three other Republican candidates in the 3rd Congressional District race. Two La Crosse County supervisors will not be on the ballot this spring. Third district candidate Doug Wiedenbach and fifth district candidate Isaac Tahiri have been removed because of problems with their nomination papers. On Alaska Municipal Judge John Brickman also was removed for his failure to file a financial statement on time. It's a great place to live and we're just glad to be part of it. Chuck and Cheryl Hansen, as well as John and Linda Lickey, are the latest recipients of the Iverson Frecking Award. The award recognizes people who make a positive impact on our community while promoting spiritual endeavors. Students from high schools across our area are preparing for a special choir concert tonight. A workshop was led by a German a cappella group last night, and students are prepared to perform many different music selections. The German singers will be performing with dozens of local students at the Viterbo Fine Arts Center. That show starts at 7.30. Well, light snow continues near and east of La Crosse, planned for a slippery morning commute. Now, temperatures are not all that cold, upper 20s to around 30. They're not going to move much today with highs around 34 and then 35 tomorrow. Still some light snow showers through tomorrow. Thanks for sharing your morning with us. We hope you have a great Thursday. We'll see you back here tomorrow.